Hey guys, this is uh, Chandan Kumar from www.vfxrider.com and uh, today I am here with another great tutorial on 2D compositing. And what does it really mean? In the end of this uh, tutorial, we are going to see something this kind of effect. So this is the result. Uh, Actually, this effect is made of still images and uh, you can see the depth here. Now, I'm going to show uh, how to achieve this kind of effect. First of all, uh, we have to go to Photoshop and uh, here I have an image, a still image as you can see here. And the effect what uh, I showed you, a precise cutout of all these elements separately. For this, let's go to uh, Select, Extract and uh, select Smart Highlighting uh, here and uh, make a precise selection of this. Actually, it uh, depends upon you what kind of uh, tool uh, you select for your uh, purpose. You can select uh, Lasso or Pen tool also. It depends upon you totally. Uh, now it's done and uh, click on this guy and uh, press OK. And you see uh, your cutout uh, is uh, ready. So uh, after doing this uh, you will have uh, something uh, uh, like this file. Uh, this is a collage of uh, separated cutouts and I have uh, made a layer of uh, fog also this is uh, very simple and uh, made by a brush tool so now you just save your file in .psg format and uh, go back to After Effects and here I make a new project and import that psd file as a composition Press OK and you see that it has come with all the layers automatically. Make the duration of uh, this comp of 5 seconds, let's say. And uh, you see that all the layers have come into the timeline. First of all, you just delete these two layers as we uh, don't need them at all. And uh, you can see that I have uh, all the layers here. As you can see that uh, I have all the layers here. Okay, uh, so now uh, we have to manipulate all these layers here. Uh, so this is layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, layer 5, layer 6. Uh, actually it is a layer 7. Uh, so now uh, first of all we have to place a camera here. Just create it as it uh, works on uh, 3D layers. So make all the layers as 3D layers. Okay, uh, so now make it uh, two views horizontal and uh, one from top angle and the other from uh, camera angle. Uh, where is the camera? Yeah, here is the camera. Now, we have to manipulate all these layers. Uh, so pick the layer 7 and drag it to the farthest to the camera extreme back. Yeah, this is in fact the sky layer. So just like this, we will place the layers in 3D environment according to the need. Make sure that you have to give the distance between the layers. It's very important since we have to show the depth here. So keep positioning all the layers and don't forget to maintain the distance. So uh, now all the layers are uh, placed nicely as you can see here. Now you have to uh, make some more adjustments here. Actually this is the soul of this kind of effect. Maintain the distance and manipulate the camera nicely. Uh, this is the this is the seventh layer. It is a sky so make it bigger so that it should perfectly uh, occupy the area if I move the camera you can see the depth here clearly this is what we uh, wanted to achieve uh, there is one problem here actually uh, you can see here 
if I move the camera, the point of interest doesn't move. It is somewhat uh, stuck here. So to solve this kind of problem, go to layer and make a null object here. So now uh, pick whip of the camera to the null object and it means the camera is the child of null object. So if I move the null, the camera will automatically follow this and uh, hence we won't have to face uh, the problem of point of interest. Uh, so this is the technique here. Now just make a solid layer of black layer and uh, make a rectangular mask around it and uh, make it inverted and uh, adjust the mask points. Actually I uh, uh, actually I uh, have made a cinema scope type of effect here. Uh, make uh, some adjustments here. Pick all the layers and uh, make them slightly down. So now, uh, so now pick the null layer, its position, and give it an uh, initial keyframe. Some adjustments are required here. Slightly uh, move it into Z axis. You can see the depth clearly here. Uh, make some adjustments here and you can see that uh, it's almost done. It's pretty good. We have uh, moved the null layer and due to this we have a pretty good depth of field. Hit uh, the play button and you can see it's done clearly. A nice depth of field is here. Uh, now you can uh, do lots of other things also like uh, we have a, a fog layer so let's animate the fog layer keyframe the position and uh, move it in the x axis and y also and uh, you can see the nice animated uh, fog here uh, for more fog uh, duplicate the layer by pressing control d from your keyboard and uh, you can see even more fog. It's pretty good. Hit the play button. Actually uh, as I said to before you can do lots of uh, things here like you can enhance the colors, uh, give some uh, lens flare, depth blur, lots of other things. It depends uh, upon you totally. For now it's done and uh, see the nice result here. Fog is moving and uh, we have a very nice uh, depth here. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial very much. So let's meet in uh, another interesting video tutorial. Till then, take a very good care of yourself. This is Chandan Kumar from www.vfxradar.com. Remember it. Bye-bye.